From far and near, young girls from different parts of the nation make the trip to Kababunu local government area of Kogi State in their quest for quality education. One school that holds the key to their dreams is the Federal Government Girls College, Kaba. For 25 years, this citadel of learning has been a center for turning academic aspirations into realities. It was one of the 19 Federal Government Colleges founded on 28 April. 1995. The premises had hosted three colleges before it was ceded to the Federal Government Girls College, Kaba. So far, it has been a successful journey with the school holding firm as a solid ladder for female students to climb to the zenith of their dreams in life. On 14th November 2020, the gates of the school were flung open for visitors and friends of the college to share in the success story of the last 25 years and the 19th annual speech and prize given day ceremony of the school it was no doubt a colorful and memorable event especially for the SS3 students who finally called it a wrap at the school after a difficult academic year that suffered interruption with the outbreak of COVID-19. Their joyous entry into the college multipurpose hall set the tune for the occasion. special day with special guests in attendance. The event attracted government functionaries, the state governor who was represented by the Commissioner for Education, Honorable Wemi Jones, Commissioner for Finance, parents of graduating students and royal fathers including the Obaru of Kaba, Oba Solomon Owoni, and the Olujumu of Ijumu Land, Oba Williams Olushegun Ayeni. No congratulates um, the school, the graduating students and our community for being favored with this with the presence of a federal institution here in Kogi, in Kaba, Kogi State. Yeah. And of course he wishes the management all the best. He also encourages that uh, they shouldn't rest on their oars. They should keep doing things that will make uh, the college the best. Among federal government, among federal government colleges in Nigeria, not just federal government colleges, among all federal government colleges in Nigeria. Former governorship aspirants and philanthropist George Olumoroti Olushola had the honor of chairing the ceremony. Olushola, who expressed satisfaction with the progress of the school, called on the students to make the most of their times at the college. A lady or a girl should not see himself as inferior to a male child, that is one. Number two, must have self-confidence. Number three, don't ever limit yourself to which school I attend or where I came from. Go and look at Big Gates. It was never the top notch. Go and look at Ganifa Wemi, you know, but they, today they are one of the best. So it is the value that you should have, the home training, 
uh, alongside the virtue that have been in, in, you know imposed on you while you know in school here. So uh, for me, they should just continue to strive hard, have confidence that they will succeed and they will succeed. The event was also an opportunity for the school to present its call card. Mrs. Jayola, the principal, said notable areas included the performance of the students in the recent JAM examination, high level of discipline in the school, success in ensuring the school remain COVID-19 free, water reticulation in the classrooms, hostess, staff rooms and staff quarters, renovation of classrooms and hostess, among others. The journey, I think, has been consistently wonderful, improvements in all ways, and uh, we are trying to put it on a good footing so that we can move higher in the journey. The school has been existing for the 25, past 25 years. Academically, the school has been doing well. But we are trying to incorporate many things so that we can do better than we've been doing. Uh, we're talking about, if you had listened, we're talking about ICT, technology, and things like that, so that the college can be a worldwide known college. The major uh, successes are academically, like I've mentioned, but other things also include the infrastructure. As you can see, this uh, uh, structure being put in place under the capital project of the school, though not yet completed, is the work of the past principal. Uh, she is an initiative. We are going to complete it, and we, ne we are thinking of taking it to the next level. It's, uh, it's something that can generate IGR for the school. Uh, it's something that uh, you can see how beautiful it is. When completed, it should be a very, very good edifice for the school. We are thinking of uh, renovating the hostels too. Though some have been done, and that's why we renamed the hostels after some key important people in the environment. So, uh, so we can touch. You add the history of the school that we inherited a structure put in place in the 1950s. The structures are old, all the uh, quarters need touching, but most places you will see that there are renovations all over too, but uh, we still have a long way to go. So uh, there have been successes, but we still have many challenges as well. Mrs. Jayola also called on stakeholders to support the college to improve enrollment by giving scholarship to indigent, brilliant students. Because of the economic situation of the environment, uh, students are not as, uh, the number of enrollment is not as high as it used to be. So we are, that's why I encourage people, they can institute scholarship for students, brilliant students, and send them here on merit. Away from the speeches, the cultures of ethnic groups in Nigeria were also on display.
a day dedicated to the progress achieved by the school in training the girl child. Hajia Fatima Kabir Buba, the girl speaker and Kogi State Commissioner for Women Affairs, said girl child education remains crucial to the nation's political and socio-economic development. Some of the benefits of paying attention to the girl child of, of education is this. When you pay attention to the girl child education, the girl child has so many opportunities to achieve in life. The girl child can be so potential and influential in future. Because as this adage goes, when you educate the, the girl child, you educate the entire generation. That they should be more determined, they should be more focused in terms of um, their education or as regards their education. And when they are up and doing in that aspect, this will enable the parents and the teachers to do more by motivating them to be more serious with their studies. The college, according to Hajia Binta Abdukader of the Federal Ministry of Education, deserves commendation for its landmark achievements, a view echoed in the goodwill messages of the Obas and other dignitaries. Even from uh, the infrastructure you see, the ministry is not joking with girls' child education. They want to take girl child uh, education seriously as they have been supporting, you know, in infrastructure. And so everything about girl child education is taken seriously. My, my advice to them is that a solid foundation has been laid and they should build on the foundation laid. We the school well in their projects and to appeal to our people to help them in contributing very meaningfully to the development project so that the school can grow. That's my best wishes. No, it's a success. They have a success story. I know there are shortcomings here and there, but they have done well. And we are proud of them. They have produced so many students who have made marks in their different uh, endeavors of life. So we thank God for them. I congratulate them for this uh, 25th anniversary of establishing the school and I wish hey, that the good, uh, the good uh, establishment they have laid, the, the good foundation they have laid, they should continue with it and I pray that God will continue to sustain them. They have to build solidly on the foundation given to them by this school because the uh, school is known when it comes to uh, when it comes to academic performance and the special grace of God we are appealing to the student that when they get back there they should be able to build on that uh, aspect. I also want to appreciate what I saw here today the management of this school has performed credibly and uh, I also want to use this opportunity to thank the executive governor of Kogi State for giving an enabling environment for these people to operate well and uh, for, him, for being supportive. And uh, once again, I congratulate the entire student and I pray for them. The sky is their limit. I congratulate the principal, his staff and students, particularly the graduating students for this celebration. I pray that the college will continue to grow from strength to strength and pledge that in whatever capacity I and my friends can serve, we are very committed to support them in the development efforts of the college. I wish uh, the school the success uh, in everything that they have been doing and um, we welcome the new principal's initiative. We pray that uh, all the projects that we want to do in this uh, college, uh, we will get assistance from our people to donate generously to the development of this school. I want to wish the students, particularly the graduating students, uh, success in their future endeavor. Uh, I want to use this occasion to to thank the principal of this school for, for a job well done, I think he's a go-getter.
So we appreciate her so much. A woman like a man. I also appreciate the graduation student who has been given a solid foundation. Uh, you look at comment. I mean, commendation from the Federal Minister of Education is very encouraging, and I wish they will con continue on that note. The high point of the event was the launching of the college magazine. Graduating students and their parents could not hide their joy as they witnessed the end of what has been a long and hard intellectual journey. I feel great. At least it's been, it's been six years now and by God's grace I'll be graduating. I really, really, I'm really happy and I feel good about it. It was not easy though, but God help us through. But everything I think is coming to an end now. So I thank God, it's been God all the way. Uh, I'm just so happy because of all the challenges, everything now is over. I'm just happy. My school is a very good school, a very nice school. In fact, we have primary school now and the school is just the best. I'm happy that my daughter is graduating today. The school is it's okay, it's okay. The students they are doing well, my daughter is doing well. And I glorify the name of the Lord for that. We appreciate the Lord for what He has done, for seeing those students through successfully for the period they have spent in the school, six whole years. We thank God for all He has done. My advice for them is that they should not see this one. They should see this as a stepping stone. It is not the end of the whole show. They should still sit tight and sit up in their endeavors in life, and the Lord will see them through. Old guests of the college were among guests present to add color to the occasion. Besides cutting the unity cake, they also inducted the graduating students into the College Old Girls Association, COGA. Kemi Arukoyo is one of the old girls. It feels so wonderful to be back home, like I stated in my speech. Because this school holds a very special place in my heart. The school impacted us, not only academically, but morally. And to the graduating students, I wish them all the best. But like I said before, this is just a first, like a first major step. They still have a lot of things to do. So I pray that they will not be distracted. After months of tireless preparation, staff of the college and members of the planning committee had every reason to be excited as the curtains were drawn on another historic moment. We were really looking forward to make today great in the life of this school. And we thank God that at least it has been something close to what we envisaged. So. We give all glory to the Almighty God. The children that have graduated today are most grateful to God for their lives. You know, it came in the season where people thought all hope is lost. Um, but we are seeing today that they are being celebrated the way none has ever been celebrated in the college. So the ways of God are not the ways of men. Uh, God does his thing in a way man cannot understand. In the COVID-19 season, this is when God has showcased himself in the life of this one. He's one of the best. This is my 20 year in this college. We have not had it so good. One, I am the chairman Fenu Stroke Decoration Committee. When we were preparing, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting so much. But, when things started happening in the morning, I was elated myself. A night before the main event, staff and students also came together in what was termed Ankara Night with lots of music and drama. There was no dull moment for the participants. 
The principal and staff present also use the occasion to pray for the outgoing students and imprint on their minds counsels for the next phase of their lives. We have been working with them six years under strict rules and regulations. So by now we think they should have imbibed the culture of uh, being obedient, knowing what is wrong from right, and then being focused with their studies. Uh, by now they should realize that they are not going anywhere if they can't make it academically, which is very, very important. So they have to add some little other uh, tax to it, but academics you can never relegate to the background. And we have told them what we have taught them to be nice, to be faithful, to everything that is good and edifying, we have taught them. That's what they should use outside the college as they go into the larger world.